Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to Downloadable Content. Today I'm jumping into Battle Talent because they added some crazy new things. There is a new weapon, it's kind of like a power pole, which you guys are going to love. I can't wait to show you. And we have new things to do with spells. I'm talking about imbuing the weapon, so get ready for that one. Once again, this is Battle Talent. If you haven't had Battle Talent, you should literally go get it. They also just added multiplayer. Multiplayer to battle talent. It's crazy, crazy. But let's sit back, relax, get ready to get punched, and let's start. Now, the first part of this video, I'm going to show you one of these new weapons, which is, I believe, called the Golden Cudgel. Think of this as the Power Pole. So this is one of the new weapons here. It's called, like, the Golden Claw. And to you guys, it probably just looks like like a bow or Joe staff. You're like, okay, I've seen that before. Have you? But if you do the trigger while holding it, you can be like, boop and poke things from afar. It's a really big one. Whoa. And this one uh, should have some practical value outside of just, you know, trying to get a squirrel off the roof. Let's take our frustration out on this goblin. Let's just use it in basic beatdown mode. Come on, guy. Basic beatdown mode. We're going to just go, huh. good blocks. But unfortunately for him, he just got, boom, instant cudgeled for like a quick death. That seemed to was like right in his heart. Made him skip a beat and die instantly. Maybe this one will put up a little bit better of a fight. But I doubt it because I am just so good at this game. Jump. Boom. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Hit you right in the bridge of the nose. He is okay, but now... Ah! I'm like Killick from Soul Calibur. One more of these big guys. I feel like, honestly, they're not putting up that good of a challenge because I am just so good. I can just go bonk in the knee. Good block. But unfortunately, once again, he has been defeated. To the cudgel. And now we're going to use it in power pole extend mode. I made a little one right there. See, we can't reach him, but can we? We do the trigger. Oh my God. It knocks him so far. Isn't it an instant death too? Dude, look at that. It just... Oh, so if you were like, huh, huh, boom. I wonder if they can get knocked back. This guy has a giant blade on him, but it doesn't matter. Huh. Now we do this. Power pole extend. Oh my God. God, this is honestly one of my favorite weapons right now. I have to see it on a skeleton friend, aim it for him, and then <laughs> breaks him to pieces. Ah, oh, this is so good. A great addition to the game is this. Okay, I, I have a really good idea right now. Let's spawn a couple of these hey, goobers. Hey, goobers, are you ready to fight the legendary <laughs> Wukong guy? We could be like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, see, he thinks he's good, but now check this out. You guys aren't ready for my genius. Now we go like this. Her in the sky! Bonk! Oh, ho ho! Bet you didn't think I would do that, did ya? Don't stand up, I'll do it again. Sproing. You have to make sproing sound effects, otherwise, ah, it's worthless. Look at this! Are you guys seeing this? You can travel like this, bounce yourself around. What's up, dude? Didn't expect me to do that, did you? Oh my god, I love this thing. Even though I'm just poking people, I could just... Can I do it in slow motion? Get ready, sproing. Oh my god, the Monkey King Goku sends his regards. Son Goku attack! Gah! Oh, hi. Let's bring this thing into, like, an arena. I'm gonna make this pretty challenging for myself. Set, like, a bunch of these, like, skull things and wraiths to come after me. Like, why not just have everything join the fray? I'm gonna cheat just a little bit and grab, like, a fireball. Like, the fireball spell would just be so fun. I'm in the air and I just cast fire. I almost just burn myself. I'm just setting the dungeon, too. What do I want? Do I want this tile set in the middle? Let's do that. And hit the switch. Now let's have some fun. Whoa, dude. They look a little intimidated, not gonna lie. That's nothing. Sproing myself in the air. And then prepare myself for this, too. Boom! Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, my. <laughs> there is a crazy amount of them. But I can keep sproing it. Guy, I don't think so, man. Yeah, you're done. Look at this. A, a horrible warlord. Just keep poking the crap out of him from a distance. I just love being able to go into the sky like this. <laughs> Do the, the traversal option now. So much. This this one is... Ah, I think this one might be my favorite weapon. We have a contender for favorite weapon combos. Huh. Don't think so. Monkey King attack. Charge this up. Sproing fireball. Oh. Okay, that was close. Get away from me. I'm trying to do something. Maybe I want a new spell. I selected the black hole spell. This might be a good combination. You spring yourself up, then shoot a black hole down there. That just keeps them on their toes. So anyone that comes mildly near this black hole, check this out. Oof! 
Black hole attack! Okay, that didn't really work out in my favor, but it looked cool. Me doing that looked cool, admit it. Admit that looked cool or lose 100 magic points. You know what I do wonder? Can I just stand up the entire time? Like if I was just holding it like a pogo stick. I think maybe I could just stand up. Don't move, guys. Wait, if I got two of them, <laughs> I can have stilts. Now we're talking. Now this is the ultimate challenge. Having stilts. <laughs> <laughs> I have stilts and I have two of these so I can be like back back up <laughs> it's almost like firing bazookas dude this one's gonna make you like immortal doing it this way this is a great way of playing battle talent now just yeah right dude and then when you get close enough I go above you smack you with this <laughs> holy crap this is great did you see that little guy gets wogged back up back up you can't defeat me I can spring myself out of here and then slow motion hit you in the face. Yeah, not so tough now. You either. It's a pretty serviceable just weapon all around. You know, it's doing blunt attacks, so keep that in mind. But <laughs> if you get good with blunt attacks, then that's where the magic is, literally. All right, enough of this. Sprung into the air, slow motion, black hole. I'm gonna show you guys some new stuff in a second. Now that we're back in my home castle, Let's take a look at the new magic system because you can imbue with certain spells. The first one is the fireball. So we're gonna put that on our hand. And I believe you just take the fire and just smash it onto the weapon like, gah! Oh, <laughs> ow, I, I did that wrong. I think I just actually do it blade and sorcery style. I just hold it and imbue, yes. I turn this one into fire now. I have a fire blade. Now, now that it's fire, does it have any cool effects or is it just fire? Okay, we're gonna have to stab something. What's up, little goblin? Thank you for joining me. Uh, fire slash! Oh, he burns! The second you hit him, he just catches fire. How about this? <laughs> now that is a great way of seeing it. I also brought gun, because I want to see if you can imbue... Gun? Can you imbue gun, or is it just <laughs> melee? I think it might just be melee stuff. But what happens if I take flaming sword that already has a skill of doing it? and I imbue it with fire. Does that still work? Is this doing something? Is this double fire now? I'm taking my Son Goku staff. Come on, imbue, please, please, please. It works! I have the Son Goku staff. Now I can do, like, the fire thing. Still have it and just, yeah. Okay, we're trying that out. You guys think you can come for me? How about, boing! Nope. So you guys think you can come for me. Son Goku into the sky, and then we're gonna, oh my God, the fire works. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> now I just made this thing just like a thousand times more powerful. It was already extremely powerful, but now even more perfect. The next one to try is the ice spell. The ice spell should have its own stuff as well. So here's my arming sword and I'm going to imbue it with ice. It looks cool. It is all icicled. I'm going to try it on this guy. So if I just stab him, does he freeze? Oh, he freezes for like a brief moment. That is crazy. So if I was slashing him instead of piercing him, I wonder like what that would do. Let's, let's try on, on this one. So slash. Yeah, so slashing you just like can forever combo him. Oh my God. The ice is extremely powerful. You know, it looks like I can have this thing and hold the blade half sword it while casting and it still works with him viewing. That is also very cool. We have ice sword on the ice world. Now this has to be tried. Like if I'm freezing people while like smashing them <laughs> that has to be seen all right little goblins freeze literally <laughs> it's just you you're frozen nope nap nap oh my god the forever combo until it's like no longer imbued that is crazy all right now let's check the next one it let's just beat the crap out of you the next one is electricity the three of you come over here i gotta hey, ow ow jesus <laughs> okay all right someone's gonna pay you get shocked Oh, well, this one sucks. Let's use my Falcion. Falcions are always pretty good for things. All right, so now this is good. So, Chuck! Oh, it, okay, so it imbues into them and starts doing like chain of damage between anyone that's alive or near it. That one's pretty cool. That's just like a, oh my God, a combo starter. The other one you could use is Grasping. Now this one's gonna be pretty interesting because Grasping is just Grasping, right? Like I pull things towards me like so. Uh, anyone caught in the blast of grasping? It's a weird spell to use, but grasp. You are now grasp, and I believe you teleport to them. So if I hit, then oh no, come on, guy, get get hit. There we go. 
Look at how he's grasped. So that on a blade. Oh, that's gonna be cool. How about you? Oh my God, it put, just floats him in the air for a second. And then what do I do with him now? I just trap them in the sky? <laughs> Move, everyone. Oh my God, this one is so powerful that you just like hold orcs into the sky, which gives me a great idea. So we imbue this. Okay, now this is imbued. We're gonna go into slow motion and just go hit him like this. Oh no, my bad, my, I'm sorry. Oh no, I, I, I'm slashing them. Okay, grasping, can you like not <laughs> cut them in half while grasping? There we go, and then just devil may cry them. Oh my God. <laughs> grasping magic sends its regards. Stab, float for me. Continue to float. Oh my God, you can have multiple grasping hands on them. <laughs> Oh, that's a great spell. Now, can you imbue multiple things on something? So this has grasping already. So if we do fire, does it just go over it? Okay, so you can only have one at a time, which does make sense. I just wish it was compatible with this. Like imagine if I can grasp people from afar and they don't merge, right? How cool would that be? Grasping merge. But now the real question is if I do this and then pull them to the sky and then toss them. Oh my God. Hang on, bud. I have fireball. I can get you down. Okay, now I can't get you down. You're gonna hit the ground real hard. Someone should check on him. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. We took a look at the new update. We have imbuable spells on stuff, and we have this new power pole that you could just like knock some skulls with, which I'm so happy for. Every time this game updates, I'm like, why, why isn't it more popular? More people need to be playing this because there's co-op in the game, soon to have co-op dungeons, which is absolutely fantastic. So make sure you download this one. It's available on PC, also available on Quest, and I believe there's cross-play with that. Um, don't quote me on that one, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there, there's crossplay. But anyway, if you're new to downloadable content, why not consider subscribing? Literally free. Hit the big red subscribe button down below. And um, yeah, I mean, this has been fun. I'm Drifter from downloadable content. I'm going to use this one and I'll see you guys next time.